my name is Stefania. Welcome to my channel. So today I thought we would do another look using the Nabla Cosmetics Soul Blooming Palette. If you want a full review with swatches, all that stuff, I did do that in my last video or a few videos ago. Either way, I'll link it down below um, and that way you guys can check that out if you haven't already. But today we are just going to do a tutorial of this eye look using more of the purple lilac type shades of the palette. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, then please keep watching and please don't, please do, do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get notified when I upload. I upload at least three times a week and I would love to have your guys' support and be part of this little family. Um, and feel free to comment because I love to listen to your guys' comments, your suggestions, all that stuff. So, uh, yes, hit that, hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video. Alright guys, let's get started. So I've already primed my lids with some concealer. So we are just going to go in with that first transition shade. It's the lightest shade of the palette and it's called Chamomile. We're just going to go in windshield wiper motions just straight into that crease on a large fluffy brush. So you're just going to blend that out until you have a nice transition shade laid down. And just keep working back and forth. Alright, so the next shade of the palette we are going to grab is called Gia. It's almost like a light pink brown-ish shade. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a brownie, brownie pink shade. But that is the second transition shade we're going to lay down. And as you can see, I'm going pretty far up the lid, so don't worry about being super precise with this color. Same exact thing, working in windshield wiper motions. The next shade we are going to pick up is actually that lilac shade called Flowery. It's not a shade you see often, so I'm interested to see how this went on, but it actually blended out super well. Uh, first I took it on a large fluffy brush, and then I decided to go in with a more precise brush. And I want to draw that all the way in because we will probably end up cutting the crease later. That's just what I end up doing when I'm using metallic colors. So bringing it all the way in and just working it back and forth into that crease. Okay, now we're going to go back in with the shade Gia just one more time just to kind of throw everything back together, blend everything out. Uh, it's just that light pink brownish shade one more time just to make sure everything looks nice and seamless. Okay, now we're going to take the dark shade in the palette called Caravaggio and we're just going to go and kind of create that little outer V so just a tiny brush and you're just creating like a little V just to deepen it up I always bring it up a little bit just to kind of lift my eye a little bit more that's a really good tip if you have like you know downturned eyes so I try to always blend it a little bit above my natural crease just to give myself a little face lift and just go nice and slow. It is a very dark shade, so really make sure you go in light-handed when going through the palette, into the palette. And then I decided to take a clean brush one more time and just blend it in one more time because that was such a dark shade. I didn't want it to be too harsh in the outer corner. All right, guys, so let's try picking up the shade Anemone, Anemone, Anemone. 
this this blue one. <laughs> Why do they make that so an mini and a money? Whatever. All right. Uh, so we kind of already tried this palette out. We'll see how intense it is. I just want that color on the outer corner. So we're just gonna take a brush. See how that one applies. Cause I haven't played with the blues yet. I'll be honest. Oh, it's good. It's flying very well. So I don't want it to be super, super dark, but I just want to deepen out that outer color. Let's take it in about, I'm gonna take it in about three fourths of the way in. So nothing crazy. So that you guys can see that. All right. Hmm. What do I want to do? All right, so let's take the shade. Let's actually cut with some concealer. That's what we're gonna do. Just to make sure that it really pops on the eye. So let me grab that. All right, I'm gonna take my Becca. This is the banana one. Um, I really like this one for cutting the crease. It's super creamy, so it feels like you're actually using like a tube concealer, uh, but I really like how bright it is. So let's just put that on the inner corner. See how that goes. What are you guys up to this weekend? We might go see Deadpool or my husband might go see Deadpool by himself or with his friends, not by himself, but I work Saturday, so his friend invited him to go. So it's kind of like, a Dude, there's just too many superhero movies. I don't remember what the hell is going on in any of them, to be honest, and it's just too much, too much for me. I enjoy them, but it's too much. So I saw the Avengers, and I think I'm good with superhero movies for a while, to be honest. Does anybody else feel that way, or am I crazy? Or the Star Wars thing, I can't get into that either. I can watch that at home, but if I went to the theater, it's like, when a movie passes two hours, I just fall asleep. So we have to go in the middle of the day. We're like old people now. We, we can't handle going to movies like late at night anymore. Unless I get coffee before. If I can get Dutch Bros, I'm good to go. All right, let's go in with the shade Garden Gate. So it's this really pretty shimmery type purple shade. Let's see how that goes. I'm just gonna take my finger um, cause I remember last time I think they, these like pop more with your finger and I don't, I don't necessarily mind it. I am going to fix that crease though. Cause that's going to drive me freaking nuts. So wherever that concealer transferred, I just want to blend that out. I don't want to leave it there. If you have to take just the tiniest bit more of that transition shade and you'll be good to go. So it's an easy fix. Yeah. Okay. Now let's take the shade Garden Gate. Ooh. I like that. We're gonna leave the inner corner a little bit blank. And I'll figure out what I wanna do there in a second. I'm just going with the flow here, guys. I did not have this planned out. So we will see what I decide to do. Purple usually isn't my eye look either. Like I said, I really like like warm tones or I like pinks or turquoise. I, actually, I like a lot of colors. That's a lie, but not not usually purples. I just don't. Some lady at my prom once we went to Sephora and I think it was like theater people that were doing makeup and she did my makeup and then had me buy all the products and I had never really done makeup before and I was like, oh yeah, I could totally do this at home. I looked like I had two black eyes. So ever since then, I've been a little bit hesitant with purples. Um, but yeah, that was not my greatest moment. So we're gonna go in with the shade Philosophy. And I think for that, I can just take a tiny brush. Cause we're just adding a tiny, tiny bit of that. So I'm gonna take a little pencil brush. We'll take that pink shade and go in the inner part. going on. I don't really have anything else 
what's going on? I've been working, um, training is finally picking up a little bit, so that's really good. I have a wide array of, array, a wide array of clients, so it's kind of cool because you get to see all kinds of people and it's not just like one goal, it's like so many different goals. I have people that want to build, I have people that want to lose weight. So it's been a really fun, um, you know, transition as far as job wise. It's nice to see all kinds of people come in. And I have some people getting ready for shows, so it's been a good experience. All right, so I think that's all we're gonna do on top of the eye. I am going to, okay, we'll try some Fix Plus and see if that makes it stick out a little bit more, which of course I have to go get because I never bring in everything sitting in front of me. I'll be right back. All right, so let's try to go in with Garden Gate with a wet brush. Just to see. He's for fun. Uh, 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 uh. I can't believe it's already middle of May. I am ready for some summer vacation. So we're gonna go to Rocky Point this year. And we have a friend getting married in LA, so that should be a lot of fun. And then my husband and I usually take like a year trip to Vegas, so we'll figure that out when it gets here. But that's where I get to wear my outfits that I never wear because I'm in gym clothes 95% of the time. Which I'm not complaining because I love them. So I'm gonna take that shade Philosophy again and just go in. What new makeup releases are you guys excited to see or would be interesting in seeing reviews for? That's what I want to know from you. See, so that actually really did help. I'm kind of surprised because the other time I did it, I felt like my fingers were better. And I'm gonna highlight that brow bone with philosophy. But yeah, I'd love to know what you guys wanna see. Are you guys interested in like the Rihanna stuff that's coming out? Um, just the colors, like the eyeshadow stuff, that that looks really nice. Like the eyeshadows look really cool, but 20 bucks an eyeshadow, that's pretty steep. So I don't know if I'm gonna pull the trigger on those quite so fast, I'd rather like buy them from Ulta just in case I don't love them. But does anybody else feel like $20 in eyeshadow is kind of a lot? Just my opinion. All right, let's do the lower lash line. I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs highlighter again. Um, I know I use these like in every, well, it's not like I have that many tutorials so you can't complain. Um, but I'm gonna use the blue, it's called Deja Blue. So this is light blue color. I told you guys how much I love these, so I think it will go perfect with the lilac y type feel. Can I talk while I'm doing this? That's a miracle. Alright, because I don't feel like doing purple under the eyes. I just, like I said, purple and I just don't. We're not friends. We're not best friends, you know? It's like a, it's like a friend that you say hi to that you're just like, you don't really want to spend time with. Okay. So I already did concealer and stuff, so I can go ahead and go in. Um, let's take, let's take flowery. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take flowery. I'm just gonna take a little flat brush and go in. Let's take a Gia again, which is the shade that we were using in the beginning for the transition. And we're gonna go along like three fourths of the way in. That's what I've decided to do. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. And let me know what you guys would find more useful. Like, do you guys care what brushes I'm using? Do you guys really not give a shit? Like, let me know what to do, um, you know, what kind of looks you guys want to see. I'm open to whatever. So I'm trying to figure out things that are interesting for you guys, but I just want to make sure that I'm like actually doing things that are interesting for you guys and not just things that I want to do. <laughs> All right. The last thing we are going to do on the eyes, I have these two really pretty purple Stila. What are these called? You know what these are called. It's still a like glitter and glow. 
So I have Bella, Ballet Baby, and Into the Blue. I think let's do the ballet just to add a little bit more of the inside. And I like lighter colors on the inner corner. I don't really like doing anything dark. Okay. That is it for the eyeball. All right guys, so I'm gonna go put on lashes and mascara. This is the finished eye look so far, but I'm gonna do like a wing, put some mascara, and then I'm going to put these, what are they? They're Feline House of Lashes on. And we will see how long it takes me to come back. But I am excited to report that I have gotten much better at this and it's not taking me half as long. And I'm actually really enjoying it. So um, I'll be right back and we will finish off the look and everything together. So hold on two seconds. And if not back in a minute, just wait longer. All right guys, so I already did my lips. I did Spice Lip Liner with a Makeup Forever color. I'll have it lifted, listed in the description box. I wish they went by names. I can remember names. I can't remember numbers and there's just goes by numbers. So anyways, we're gonna go in with the Sugar Bare Minerals Lip Gloss. Just kinda give the glossy finish. Just in the center. <laughs> I like how I say it in the center and then I put it everywhere. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I, again, I am super impressed with this palette. I just wanted to say that as many times, I cannot say enough good things about this. I really enjoy this. I've been using it every day now for the past week. Whether I just want to do a super simple look, I'll just throw like chamomile and bolero into the crease and I'm good to go. So. As far as this year, this has been my favorite makeup product that has come out. I will I will go ahead and say that. Um, I'm just excited by it. Every time I put it on my eyes, I'm impressed and just, I'm just happy it's something different. You know, like I just needed something new that inspired me to do something different in my collection. Um, so I highly recommend this and let me know what other looks you guys want to see and have a great weekend. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bing the Nabla Soul Cosmet Soul.